There were plenty of firsts Thursday for Edward Rice. It was his first visit to Connie at D-Day. It was his first attempt at building a sand sculpture. Oh, and it was the first time he won first place building a sand sculpture. It was a contest sponsored by Connie at the Public Library. There's a group of forward observers. They don't get all the cool. acclimating and history as the, you know, the guys with the guns. They didn't get all the pictures taken, but they were still a, a big part of history. They went in first and they scouted things out. I'm, <laughs> I like playing in the sand. I'm a big kid, and it was a beautiful day to be in Kania and to play in the sand. This is your first time with the sand sculpture. This is my first time making a sand sculpture. This is my first time coming down to D-Day. I've, I've lived here for five years. I'm really excited. I have friends coming in from out of town and uh, we hope to have a good time. Did you have an idea in your mind what you were going to do beforehand? You know, I did this all not. Planned out. You didn't recreate it earlier or anything? I did not. In fact, I asked the girls from the library what I should do. I didn't know if I should do a mermaid or a soldier. I figured it was D-Day to a soldier. The Kaya Public Library has been doing the Sand Sculptor Contest for many, many years prior to even me coming to the Kaya Public Library. It went on a hiatus for a few years and then we brought it back. So um, as far as I know, in my, in my uh, realm of uh, being here at the library, it's been about four years now. What kind of criteria do you look at? Well, you know, we have different judges every year, but really we're looking for creativity. We're looking for um, the best use of materials and, um, you know, just everybody really having a good time. There's a lot of different, you know, categories on that score sheet, but uh, it's really up to that individual judge. That's why we always have several. How many entries do you have this year? We had 11. Typically we have anywhere from 10 to maybe 15. And um, you can pre-register at the library, and a lot of times we just come down, and when we set up, we ask other people if they want to do it. We have a lot of people visiting from out of town, and they always say, sure. So we ended up getting twice as many teams tonight than what originally registered.